Hello everyone, today we're going to study how to uh, draw a beautiful um, swallow and in watercolors. So first we're going to start with very easy triangular shapes. Very gently on the paper. a very base of a triangle more or less from the same shape the same size sorry Maybe this one. Okay. Okay, and then now we are going to um, start drawing the head. Let's see, Monsieur Cole. Now the tail is very parallel parallel line so so imagine like you are drawing a very fast sketch and continue with the other with the head here the wing that is also very Great. Here you have. And the semicircle is part the part of the chest. Very quick and, and fast lines and we want that impression of they are in the middle of their journey As I said before, you have to do very vertical lines, um, so that's why we help ourselves drawing first basic triangles. Okay, so now we have a um, very basic draft, and now let's keep on on the t details. So follow me along, let's get a better tip in our pencil okay so now we're going to do the details of these birds so first we're going to start with defining the head the eyes
these birds are so beautiful and we are lucky whenever we have the cities full of these birds unfortunately they are uh, the population is decreasing so that's why I would like also to paint them to create consciousness and understand that these animals are very important to in the agriculture Okay, so uh, we're defining the eye, finding the red part, the black one of the head, the body. And what I like about this bird is um, the long tail. Uh, pretty beautiful and the way it moves so fast it's amazing so if you are teaching your children how to paint how to draw them well this is a good example Uh, remember when we painted rock watercolor, uh, the details are not very um, detailed. <laughs> um, the pencil, the lines can be a little bit rough, sketchy, and that is the fun part about watercolors. So I found this posture to be the most difficult one. Um, so when we draw it, we have to pay attention to the head. It's not very big. However, um, it's not very rounded either. So. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now let's clean this whole sketch. Okay, so the colors we're going to use um, is black, ultramarine, beige, yellow, a little bit of orange, red, and of course wh white. So uh, first, we are going to wet the paper a little bit. The brush was not very clean. Okay. Now we're going to prepare a beige color. Very soft. And we're going to start with the chest. Now that the wettish paper the sorry the paper is wet. <laughs> I want me to paint this part. Also trying to leave the white parts. Not all the chest is beige, so very quickly.
so we have like the impression of feathers. Okay, now um, let's prepare the a darker beige. I will take some brown. Trying to use a pencil very white, and we start. Okay. The fun part is to be very fast, but effective. Okay, so the paper is getting drier and drier. Um, now let's move on to have the ultramarine color. And this has to be a color like blue and ultramarine. So it's um, these birds, these swallows have beautiful blue dark blue color so we can test on our toilet paper I still don't like color. Okay, so I think I have a small amount here. And let's do the head very quickly I want to wet the head part with a clean pencil just part of the head I'm trying to relieve the space of the eye. Yeah. We paint the black part. This uh, wing is the inner part, so the, um, the right wing is the upper part, so that's the darker color. So that's why we are using the blue one 
in this. Okay. Now with a dark brown. We are going to define more the wings. Defining very quick lines to imitate the feathers. We're going to paint the red part of the head. Now with a darker color, almost with that little touch of blue, ultramarine blue, we're going to define the the wings. Um, Defining the the head properly. Tail some definitions. And with the pencil, very, very little charge of dark color, but with a lot of water. Then we define some some shadows on the chest. Uh, when when you feel you need a good definition, then you go ahead. Like if we're a small pencil just to give more definition to the figure and uh okay so that was the part for the thing we have finished Maybe we can 
pin some feathers on the chest over here okay a bit of color some definition on the chest even though we, we have finished um, now if you want we can move to the sky part that is also very very fun Okay, so for the sky, we need to prepare some um, different types of blue. We will use the cerulean one and the ultramarine again. Um, this is just to be, just to have a little touch on the sky. Even though I like it um, with the quiet um, background, I don't know what do, what you think. Uh, should I leave it like this or with <laughs> bl uh, blue? So I'll do some blue, a little bit. So we just wet some part of it. Not all. And then we start painting. I can use a rectular, rectangular pencil and just letting the colors expand on the paper then putting the colors down to make some gradation um, with the wet paper um, there are really no rules when doing skies uh, even though there are many techniques however let's keep it very simple Just paint around with the brushes. Mm. And then with the paper you start doing like some gradients in it so it would be like clouds
trying to remove the hard edges. And that's it. So we have finished. Um, I hope you like it. Let's put them this way. So I hope you like it and um, I, I think I will do another another painting of this beautiful bird. So we can help this population of birds. Um, we can help a nest, a nest if we see one and um, we can increase the availability of moth so they can build their nest and um, maybe we can also denounce the destruction of nest and create awareness because this animal is really important in the um, equilibrium of insects in agriculture so i hope you like it and see you real soon thank you and happy drawing and painting